Hello there, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. We are now well into June, and summer has seemed to come around so fast this year. Or perhaps it feels this way because we've had quite a cold winter and spring here in the UK these past few months, and so the warm rays of sunshine feel so welcome at this time. With the days growing warmer, the little balcony garden is thriving, and it's such a wonderful feeling of being able to grow at least a little bit of our own vegetables and herbs, and feel a small sense of self-reliance. And fresh mint tea is quickly becoming my absolute favorite hot drink. It's so refreshing and calming at the same time. In our home, I try really hard to not let things go to waste as much as I can, and I like to find ways of using or reusing as many items as possible, and try to be as sustainable as I can within my abilities. And so, today I'm using my overripe bananas to make a lovely and simple banana bread, one of my absolute favorite things to bake. I think that especially now in our world today, it's becoming more important than ever to not only be more conscious of how we dispose of things, but also likewise the importance of reusing items and learning new ways and methods of doing so. I found that over the last few years of learning to slow down, life has taught me how to be more appreciative of what I have already, as well as finding new ways to reuse and repurpose things, and in the process I have become much more creative and also conscious of the things I have. The summer days bring with them an abundance of new and beautiful wild plants and flowers. And even here, in the midst of a busy city environment, you can venture out into areas of nature that are so green, and if you look carefully, there can be an array of wonderful and medicinal plants and weeds that are in abundance and are great to forage. A good example is plantain. This plant is edible, full of vitamins and nutrients, and also incredibly medicinal and can be used fresh, dried, tinctured, and also in things like oils and salves. And today, I'm setting up this plantain oil to use later on when it's ready. Salves are one of my absolute favorite things to craft and this plantain oil will make a wonderful healing salve that can be used on burns, bruises, cuts or irritated skin and is so useful to have on hand.
I really love to occupy my slower days with little projects that perhaps I've been putting off on busier days. And today I'm doing just that. In the last few years, as I've been trying to use up as many of my beauty products as I can and try to minimize the items I own, I wanted to be able to fit just a few of my most needed beauty items into this lovely little wooden box that I found at a craft store. And as it was very plain and bare, I thought that a little DIY decoration would make all the difference. I find that it's always so rewarding to craft something with your hands, even if it's very small, the item straight away feels much more significant, special and meaningful. And of course, every good day for me ends with some herbal tea. And today it's rose and lavender. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today and I truly hope that you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below or over on Instagram if you are also trying to live more slowly and what methods you have incorporated that are helping you to do that. I'd love to hear from you. I wish you a wonderful day or night and I'll see you in the next video.